Polygon Matic is just about to give us an aggressive bounce to the upside. And at the time of this recording, Polygon Matic is holding above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also managed to break above resistance at the 0.5156 with a successful retest. And the next key area of resistance that I'm watching for a break above lies above the 0.5581. And on today's video, I will be discussing an additive structure that is playing out here on this chart to give you my breakout target areas and significant key areas of supports that we need to continue holding above. And for those of you that might want to take some trades, you can check out Bybit, which is giving you up to $20 in sign-up bonuses and earn up to $30,000 in deposit bonuses. So make sure that you check out Bybit using the link that I have down in the description box. And getting back to the charts, I want to first show you an idiot of structure that I've been tracking since the 25th of July when we saw a bit of a breakdown move giving us a low below the 0.48 and afterwards we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that peaked above the 0.5239 in a move that I'm terming as an ADU12 count one to the upside and after we picked in this ADU12 count one whatever we expected next was a corrective structure in an ADU12 count two before we can see an aggressive bounce in an ADU12 count three then expect a wave 4 and then an ADO to have count 5. And the minimum target areas for this second wave can be given using the Fibonacci's, connecting the Fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO to have count 1. And that now gives me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618, which is an area that we didn't quite fully maximize Though at the, at the time of this recording, we are seeing a reaction of the area between the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.5, which is a significant key area of support here on the Fibonacci. And there are high chances that this second wave could have now bottomed out between the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.5. And whatever we are seeing at the moment could be the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in an ADU to have count three, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the, of the first wave to the high of that ADU to have count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.5736, and before all that plays out and we fully maximize our minimum target areas, there are a number of confirmations that we need to see here on this chart. And the first confirmation is that we first need to continue holding above support at the 0 0.5156. So this key area needs to continue holding and also give us a bounce to the upside to break above the significant highs in this ADO12 count one which perfectly lie above the 0 0.5220. And the moment you manage to break above those significant highs, maybe with a retest, then the 0 0.57 will be my next target areas. And remember that in case we don't see a break above these significant highs, that will lead to the formation of a double top over here, which is a bearish chart pattern that breaks to the lower side. And if that is the case, then there are chances that we can easily see a breakdown move back below the 0 0.5 in the next coming hours or maybe days. So this is a very significant key area that we need to see a break above. And once we break above that, then the 0 0.57 will be my next target area. And also remember that this additive structure that I have here in white is a micro additive count within an even larger ADO12 count 3 to the upside right here in blue. And this is an ADO12 structure that I've been tracking since the 5th of the 8th of July after we saw a breakdown move below the 0 0.46 mark where we saw a very nice bounce to the upside and picked in an ADO12 count 1. Then we started a breakdown move in an ADO12 count 2 
in a move that fully maximized the minimum target areas for the second wave highlighted in red here on the charts and since we fully maximized the minimum target areas for this second wave there are chances that in the next coming hours we are going to continue seeing impulsive prices in an ADO 12 count 3 and because of the impulsive nature in this ADO 12 count 3 that's the reason as to why I'm tracking a 5 wave move to the upside within this larger ADO 12 count 3 expecting the ADO 12 count 5 here in white to fully maximize and also give us a high in this ADO 12 count 3 right here in blue so that is the price action that I'm expecting and watching out for here on the Matic chart for the next coming hours and also days and that's all for this video and I hope to catch you on the next one